peace and good vibes, folks. This is Ibn. Um, for those of you who may be newly visiting my channel, I wanted to formally introduce myself and I wanted to give a, a heads up on the reasons why I may not be as active within the coming months. Uh, long story short, my private life is is somewhat in a frenzy, let's put it like that. Uh, to which I'm trying to, to make sure my mental health is back where it needs to be. Uh, and I'm trying to to regain a certain certain level of control over myself at least. Um, I recently deleted my Instagram and social media because uh, for someone like me who's very uh, sensitive, um, I can't bear the weight nor the gravity of a platform that has too many augmented channels of opinions to which they do not properly distill uh, the information on the current topics at large within American society. Systemic racism, mass incarceration, uh, immigration laws and bans, police brutality, sexism, so on and so forth, politics, etc., etc. They don't, social media doesn't properly distill this information because it's, it's almost damn near impossible to since it often comes within a snapshot kind of form and because it does does so by nature it, 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 it conjures up more hate than it does an understanding between neighbors uh, and I and I who have sought out to be a beacon of hope and a beacon of peace for a lot of folks who are dealing with depression, who are dealing with anxiety and whatever other uh, mental illness uh, and or uh, ailments of our society. Uh, I, I haven't properly found the correct pacing to maintain such an avatar uh, via online. So uh, I had to get off, I had to get off. I had to delete my Instagram and here I am. Uh, and when I was up there, I would provide a lot of counsel, you know, and, and advice for people in terms of relationships or advice for uh, on leadership, advice and tips on history and learning history, how to learn history, how to view things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, alas, I am here, like bear in the flesh, flawed and fucked up, <laughs> because this year has been so debilitating to me. And to, and to almost everyone else, so I know I'm not alone, that I had to get off. Uh, where that connects to whether or not I'll be as active within the coming months, because I'm trying to, it's a lot of things I have to do behind the scenes. Um, I'm currently writing my book and have been, and have been doing so since January. Uh, I've been studying a lot, I've been reading a lot of history books uh, some of which I would like to mention, The Color of Law uh, by Richard Rothstein, uh, The Fire Next Time, which I finished at the beginning of the year by James Baldwin, uh, The New Jim Crow by um, Alexander, right? I forgot her last name. Uh, Unsettling Truths, The 
the ongoing effects of the Doctrine of Discovery written by Mark Charles and Soon Young or Soon Nan. Soon Nan, got the name. Uh, Robert Brain, uh, Robert Brain, The Decorated Body, uh, and many more. <laughs> uh, all of which are books that properly distill the effects of said great nation and its deplorable acts that have been committed in history. Um, so that's what I've been, that's what's been consuming my time and my energy. Uh, and I've also been preparing to move. I'm going to be moving to St. Louis very soon. And yeah, um, and on that same coin, I got laid off from my job here. Uh, so it's compromised a lot of my movement when it comes to financial prospects that I was like, I had set in order. My bills were really, really low before getting laid off. Like it's, I had, I had uh, acquired a secure credit card so I can start building my credit. So when I got laid off, uh, phone died. Uh, so when I got laid off, um, I had to like reconfigure a bit um, and still am reconfiguring. Um, granted, I filed for unemployment, so hopefully that comes through. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, but nothing seems to be promised at all during this time. And although that's like the 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 overarching reality of life in general, this year kind of made it a lot more vivid, you know, a lot more surreal that reality. So yeah, so there's there's a lot of things that I'm gonna have to take care of in my personal life. Um, but I wanted to give this message because I, I want to thank and respect all the people uh, who have seen my, my, my advertisement on my work and have decided to say, you know what, let me give this person some time to listen to their music. Uh, I want to thank you all. Um, and I want to, to reassure you that if you are opening yourself up to the conversation of mental health, uh, by by proximity of my work um, in any capacity whatsoever that um, I hope that that also conveys to you that you are not alone in that fight and I myself have definitely experienced a lot of things this year in regards to mental health uh, it's been tried it's been very tried so you're not alone and um, and I want to say of what of what constitutes pure and true love is understanding yourself and thus in turn understanding the world and how it has came to be and I hope that each and every one of us are pushing the envelope just a little bit more to understand each other during this time. Because we need to, if we're going to have any saving grace whatsoever. whatsoever. So, yeah, uh, I'll try to keep things uh, updated as accordingly to the best of my abilities at this time. I'm probably gonna start doing some more narrative-based editing uh, on behalf of other content providers that I've been to continue that sort of momentum that I've been doing uh, with Ogechi Musa on behalf of her film Friction since around police brutality um, systemic racism and um, an underground revolt of peaceful and violent protests um, I'll be doing I'll be also be doing editing video editing for people who have music videos uh commercials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I'm going to be very busy. But uh, just know that you are in my thoughts. You always are. And of all the work that I do, uh, both, both through study and through writing my own book, is because I want you to see yourself clearly uh, as I've worked to see myself um, and continuing to see myself continuing to work to see myself 
<sighs> yeah. So, I love you all. And take care. <laughs>